welcome to Dotto Tech. I am glad you're taking the time to join us today, and trust me, you'll be glad too. Life as a technology junkie is an interesting one, especially when you have virtually unlimited access to toys like I do. And today, I get to play with a great toy. Now, we've never spent any time on our show showing you tablet PCs. Now, they first came along in 2003 along with Windows XP, and they were expected to make quite the splash. Well, the tablet PCs never really fulfilled their expectations, but in some markets, they're doing very well, thank you very much, so it's high time we explored them. Now, there's a lot more to a tablet PC than a regular notebook. This one here is Lenovo's X41 tablet PC. Lenovo, for those of you who don't know, is the new name for the old personal computer division of IBM. The ThinkPad series of notebooks is rather legendary in the notebook world. IBM is known for engineering excellence and excellence is what was required to come up with a successful tablet PC. The reason? There's a lot more to a tablet PC than a regular notebook computer. Tablet PCs are first designed to run a special version of the Windows operating system. They're optimized for pen-based interface. If we look at the notebook, it does look like any other subcompact notebook. Full keyboard, all the normal ports that you expect to plug into, but the main difference is what you see right here in the front, the hinging area. Now, most notebooks have two hinges, but this one has a single very special hinge, which allows it to convert from a plain old notebook into tablet PC. Now, I'm a modern day Moses with the 10 technical commandments of pen-based computing. They are, commandment number one, thou shalt enter thy text with thy stylus. Thou shalt be portable. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's PC, although you would be covetous of this PC once I show you. Let me show you how the interface works when we don't have a keyboard and mouse, when we only have a pen. Now, the pen does a great job of replacing the mouse. When I look at the computer here, I can just move the pen around, and I can do all the things that I can do with a mouse. It highlights, it opens files, it opens applications, it allows me to navigate from document to document and even within a document. Now, where we run into some challenges is doing input, is when we want to add text to a document, that kind of stuff. There, the software has to replace what the keyboard would have done. And the software replaces it down here in the bottom of the screen. This is a little input panel that allows me to input text into the computer in any way that I want. Now, let's say we're in a website. Let's go to a web browser. This is a really nice website, but I want to go to a different website. So I tap here up in the address area, but now I want to navigate. How do I actually put in a new address? I could, of course, choose one from my bookmarks, but if I haven't bookmarked the site that I want to go to, I want to input it as text. I'll go down into my input area here, and I can just write in here in block letters. Look at how smart it is. Dot. So you can see that it will do a very good job of recognizing the text. Once I've got the new address that I want in here, I just tap Insert, and that moves the text that's in my input panel into wherever my cursor is in that document. It's very elegant. It's not great for writing long prose, but it's great for putting in things like web addresses or making little notes. Let me continue showing you some of the other features here. And the biggest feature is when we use an application which is designed from the ground up for pen-based computing, and that is Microsoft's OneNote. OneNote is the Microsoft Office application written from the ground up, designed for tablet PC computing. It's kind of like a three-ring binder that all of our documents sit in. It stores, it organizes, and allows us to edit and manage all of our different note-taking type documents. So here I've got it open, and this is an example. I've copied and pasted a script that we're working on. Now, one nice way to mark up a script or to edit a script is with pen and paper. We often do it just working on paper. Well, I can use something called Digital Ink, and I can mark up the document here on my tablet PC. So all I do is I find an area, make my notes, just like I would with pen and paper. Nice. Steve did a real good job of writing that. I can also use this pen to change the ink to, say, a highlighter, and now I can highlight things within the document. Now, this digital ink sits on top of the document itself, so it doesn't destroy the document underneath in any way. We can still print this off. We can copy it back into the word processor. I can even select a cursor tool, and I can go in and using the input panel, I can edit the text of the document itself. It's really nice for collaborating and working and marking up documents. What about starting fresh with brand new documents? Well, I've got a new document up here, so say I'm out in the field taking notes. It's not conducive to sit down and write away if I'm sitting in the middle of a field taking notes, but having a, a notebook and pen, that's the way I would normally take notes, but if I did it with pen and paper, I'd have to transfer those into the computer later. Not anymore. I can sit there in the field, and I can take notes. I can write away. 
was. And then I can work away, take all my notes, I can do illustrations, drawings. Once I'm done and I'm ready to share them, I can just go up to the tools menu and choose my absolute favorite tool in this, convert handwriting into text, and it does a brilliant job converting it into text that I can now copy and paste into other applications. So if I want to now email these notes that I just made in the field to my project team, I can do that right out of OneNote using converting digital ink into text. There's a few other design features that I should point out before we leave the tablet PC, and the first might be the most important. Lenovo's designed special protection for their hard drives. There's actually a built-in accelerometer in here which senses if the computer's dropped, and it automatically parks the hard drive to ensure that no damage is done to the most sensitive part of your computer, your data. With handheld computer dropping it, <laughs> that's a distinct possibility. So this is an insurance policy that any healthcare provider would be jealous of. I also need to mention the keyboard here. Oh. Now, keyboards are not something that you spend a lot of time thinking about when it comes to notebooks. But since we covered inputs with our pen, I should also mention inputs with our fingers. This is an excellent keyboard. IBM, from way back when, knew the importance of touch and feel, and even of sound when it comes to keyboards. It all comes down to the old IBM Selectric typewriter days. Now, that knowledge has been passed on to the notebook division of Lenovo, and this keyboard is a treat to type on. Now, when you write as much as I do, a well-designed keyboard, that can make the difference between a really good story and one that's just so-so. Tablet PCs, they're not for everyone, but for the segment of the marketplace where they fit, the X41, a dream machine. Very well thought out tablet PC with all those subtle little design elements. So you can just tell that the engineers who designed this loved working on a unique PC like this one. Oh, now, let me get back to my 10 technical commandments. Thou shalt run upgrades and virus protection. Thou shalt hold no operating systems before me. Want more information about the items we highlight on the show? Then make sure you drop by our website at dototech.com. You'll find details about the products we cover, episode descriptions, and lots of cool features.